Guess who I am working for today? I've never had that question before. I love it. It's a frosty morning. Start nine o'clock in the morning. It's a very, very comfortable to start. I didn't have to get up early, so going to be out for five days for Stobart. It's gonna be nice to be back on the yard. <laughs> I know the yard very well. I know people there. I know everything there. It's, uh, it's going to be easy like a holiday. It's a beautiful frosty morning. I'm just uh, walking back to my house and have one more coffee before I go. It's my scarecrow. My cat. And my penguin. <laughs> the planning offices so I'm just going to flip up see who's in <laughs> and what's the job what's the job for me I'm going to be out five days I need to move all my stuff in uh, I've been asked yesterday what uh, unit I want if I want uh, Scania or Volvo <laughs> by the planning I've never had that question before never in my life I had never had a choice what uh, unit I want. Of course, I said Scania just because um, it feels more homey, um, more friendly in interior. It's only the interior part I'm after. So, because Volvos are too modern for me, it's kind of um, too cold, contemporary, if I can say that with the the ice blue lights interior lights on the evening uh, scania has got much more warmer light lights inside and lots of cloth and it just feels more homey more warm that's the only reason other than that uh, with the specifications and everything i don't care basically because they pulled the load just perfect way so it's not that it's only the interior 
I feel uh, Scania is more home basically that's that's all so I asked for a Scania I wonder what I'm going to get I'll show you later so I've been up uh, to see planning I've got the paperwork and key I'm going to walk back to my car and sit in the car and look for my unit you know which one's mine and then uh, move my stuff in <laughs> and start working it's my first job is Sainsbury Stoke <laughs> it's called uh, the place called the black hole because drivers keep going in nobody seems to come out <laughs> it's a very very long uh, tipping just looking for my key it takes four six hours to tip there and it's a long long wait but it's paid so i don't mind <laughs> okay i'm just going to drive around and look for my uh, unit So that's mine. I'm home for five days. Mm. It's okay. Let's see if we've got fuel in it. nearly full it's a new generation <laughs> start it <laughs> just going to move it a little bit uh, back so I can uh, move my going to take a load to Sainsbury Stoke <laughs> she's only I've got uh, to log in to Microlize and it's gonna tell me all my jobs so taking it's already logging me in because I put my driver's card in and it's um, digitally connected so I can See it in a second. I'm already happy. Checked out my work. I'm going to tip the load at Sainsbury. Coming back for a load. I'm going up to Tesco Livingston, which is Scotland. That's gonna be nice. I love it. So basically, I'm going to spend my night up in uh, up in Scotland. Wow. So nice. Nice homecoming. <laughs> Ridiculous amount of <laughs> stuff. Uh, I have to clean, uh, change my bedding. I've got uh, clean uh, bed sheets and everything, so I'm gonna have to change it. Fill the fridge and put everything in the cupboards. I have to 
stow away everything safely, nothing can move in the car while I'm driving, everything has to be secured. No moving items around because that's not not safe. So it's gonna take me at least 30 minutes. <laughs> Gloves. This is a special Scania sheet for um, for the Scania bed. I've got the sheet from a company called um, Lori Living. They got a nice uh, website. You can buy a custom made and uh, um, specifically made uh, bedding for Loris. So I've got it uh, for free to use it and then of course I left a review which was very good. And I still love the sheet. <laughs> it's still, still very good. Because the normal sheets are just um, too big and get creased very easily. It's not a space cap, so it's <clears throat> the height is limited. But I still can stand up. It's good for me. But the taller guys, they they struggle <laughs> to stand up in the unit. I'm already at uh, work mode, so it's it's paid basically to move in and move out. Uh, Thirty minutes before every shift, and thirty minutes after every shift, it's paid because you have to do the checks and move in and sort everything out that considers as work already. Oh, come on. There you go. Some extra cushions. <laughs> An extra blankie. Just in case the heater and everything should work here because it, it's still burnt. Everything is very well maintained. goes to the coat hanger another coat goes to another coat hanger <laughs> that's my stobart coat <laughs> it's really really nice quality empty bags going here flap top with where the laptop goes. Yeah. That's my uh, clothes. Where it goes. My clean clothes. <laughs> Underwear. <laughs> this bag is full with books. I know it's bad. This. I've got 
plenty of books with me. I'm still reading Andy's uh, Andy McLean. Me, my back, Tehran and back. It's a really, really good book. Nearly finished. <laughs> I've got my diary, memos, hmm. an extra pair of glass. Got uh, the school of life because I'm still learning life. <laughs> I have to. Ne I need a book to li le learn life. Basically, I'll show you how many books I have. So, I've got those ones. And I've got... Those are our books. I know, I shouldn't take them all with me because uh, they are all... <laughs> just, just wait. Got a nice perfume here. <laughs> I'm still using it. Mm, yeah. I think I've got some more books here. Or did I leave it already home? Now it's still here. <laughs> it's a big, big uh, A4 a, a book. Cleaning stuff. Deodorants. Flip flops. need that with um, Britwick work. Where shall I put this? Safety Googles. My kettle, because the inverter actually works here. It's not the inverter, it's the, the cowbell fitting. The connection is usually not working on lorries. But this one is good, so I already connected the inverter. And it works just perfectly fine. I don't know where to put my water. Oh, maybe here. Okay. So it's uh, only the food left to put away, so I'm just going to put that in the fridge. Mm -hmm. So all uh, hedged up, trailer is on me. Mm, done all the checks. I'm just going to... Um, oh, seen on the paperwork. <laughs> the driver out of time pulled out. So somebody already attempted to deliver this load and no success because the driver ran out of time. <laughs> Which is, uh, uh, it's quite here, usual at uh, uh, Sainsbury. I've got a taller trailer on me now, so I'm going to have to check um, the height indicator. And I have to always adjust the trailer's height, just in case. <laughs> We approach a low bridge or something, and then you just look straight on the height indicator. And you can see straight away what's uh, the trailer's height. We have to do that every time. So I don't need the sat nav because I know the place very well, sadly. <laughs> so I'm just going to crack on driving and hopefully uh, 
can get a quick uh, quick tip and then come back uh, on this yard quick and pick up another trailer for uh, Scotland <sighs> I can't wait. Washing powder, fair liquid, mm. fabric softener. It's a nice, nice smelling load. Just going to back up on the bay. <laughs> 